Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at my one survival blade. Okay, so similar to my bushcrafting knife, I did, or I, similar to a video I did earlier, uh, Okay, similar to a video that I did not so long ago talking about my one bushcrafting knife, I figured I would do a few more uh, videos similar to that talking about my one survival knife in another video in the future. But today, this is, like I said, we're talking about my one survival knife and what it is, why this is my choice, what I like about it, why I carry it a lot, and why I trust it so much. So without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon and the Instagram. The support means a ton. If you want to see more behind the scenes, that's the way to do it. Okay, now let's jump into the CRK Pacific and why it's my one survival knife. Now for me, this is... The survival knives are a very interesting category because there are a lot of really solid survival knives out there and I'm definitely happy to see that. But this is my one choice, the CRK Pacific, and this is the old school one in CPM S35VN. They do have one in S45VN and uh, I get a lot of comments saying, will I upgrade to it? Will I change to that one? And while I certainly am keeping an eye out for them, just like the original Pacifics, the new Pacifics are very rare and very hard to obtain so the answer is that I probably will at some point go to the new Pacific but I may also not if I can't find them and at the same time too realistically the original CRK Pacific the one I have here is really a fantastic knife I mean CPM 45 VN is or CPM S 45 VN is a step forward from S 35 VN but realistically both steels are fantastic and so if I was stuck with this knife for the rest of my life, it would not be bad. Okay, with that out of the way, uh, hopefully that answers some questions. Now let's actually talk about this one in particular. Now I have made a few modifications to this knife, primarily getting rid of the top guard or at least lessening it so that I can more easily hold on to this knife like this. And I do that primarily because in survival, when you're doing things like feather sticking, you want more control over the very back of the cutting edge. So you want to be able to choke up on the knife and it does already have a good finger choil. It just had this upper guard that was kind of uncomfortable so I just rounded it off and made it a lot more comfortable. After that though I really did spend a lot of time practicing with this knife and developing my survival skills with this knife so ultimately similar to my BRK Bushcrafter and why it's my one bushcrafting knife the Pacific is my one survival knife because I have hours and hours and hours of time practicing with this knife and it fits me like a glove. It's kind of the knife that I've naturally gravitated towards because the, it is the one in my collection that just feels the best to me and that fits the bill. You know, it still works as a survival knife. It just feels the best to me. Now, it's not to say that the SE6 or the Falkdeven A1 or many, uh, many other survival knives out there are bad. It's just that this one fits me the best. And I really do, uh, you know, I do, I use this knife the easiest or it's the easiest for me to use. And so therefore, because of that fitment and because I like the way its ergonomics are set up, I just gravitate towards it the most, use it the most, and feel the most comfortable with it. So with that being said, let's talk about what kind of makes this knife great. So of course, like I said, you have CPM S35 VN uh, for the blade steel, and it is a nice chunky, thick stock full tang obviously of that steel it is very corrosion resistant pretty darn tough and just a great steel now I did also flatten out a bit of the spine as you guys can see there by the shiny side for striking ferro rods so that I could effectively strike ferro rods to start fires with this knife and so I definitely did that uh, in addition though but aside from that and rounding the uh, kind of back of the spine I really didn't have to do much so aside from that, you're looking at a hollow grind, which hollow grinds are oftentimes not really preferable on hard use or survival knives as a whole. But for me, especially being the steel that this is, I have not really found this uh, hollow grind to be a problem or a burden. And in fact, I actually think that it helps the knife out doing fine tasks such as, you know, feather sticking. It has such a nice and, uh, precise blade that when it comes down to cutting things it just absolutely peels material back it is very very nice for cutting in addition to that too uh, chris reeve also kind of lower the heat treat on the cpms 
35 to bring it down to about 58 to 57 on the Rockwell hardness. And that makes the steel a little bit softer, but it does make it a little bit more durable as well. So that's reasons you're not seeing like chipping or fracturing or cracking of the blade. And so that's kind of the blade dynamics. Of course, this is about a seven inch blade, so it is longer. Being a survival knife, you probably do want something with a bit of a longer blade because it'll be able to span wood for doing things like batoning. And in survival, you know, will you actually end up batoning? This is some, another question I get a lot. You know, people don't really think that batoning is a very valid uh, a realistic task but there are some circumstances where yes you really will need to baton and you probably should you know have the capacity in a blade capable of doing that now moving back you have a very nice uh, textured micarta handle and the micarta handle i think is what really puts it together for me it is really at a great thickness and very well textured so you're not losing traction when you're holding the blade even if you're up in a choked up stance uh, it is very comfortable and very tacky for micarta. In addition to that, it is also not like coated. So when it does get wet, it still retains a good amount of grip and you really do feel like this uh, blade is quite well locked in. So ultimately, uh, like I said, the handle just really fits me quite well. It is well engineered as well, very textured. Uh, it's the most well textured micarta handle that I have in my collection. And in general, I don't really see a lot of knives that have kind of this like stippling pattern to the handle. And I think that makes it very unique, very comfortable and very effective for its job. So those are some of the reasons why I think the uh, CRK Pacific is my one survival knife. Like I said, it's a very comfortable knife to use. It's a very well thought out and well built knife. They are very hard to obtain and some people, you know, give me a hard time because they're such expensive knives. But at the same time too, it's what I have. It's what I enjoy using. And even though this is a more expensive knife, and like I said, generally harder to obtain, it is in my collection. And so therefore I do use it, do love it. And do really put this thing to the test and hopefully you guys if you've been around the channel will know that this uh this knife can definitely take a lot of hell so it's a fantastic knife really a joy to use if you do get an opportunity and do have the money for a pacific i would highly recommend it you will not regret it but uh, this is definitely my one survival knife to stay if i had to sell all the other survival knives tomorrow okay guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out